Hey everyone, Vincent here from creativevegev.net and today's video tutorial, we're going to be talking about the displacement map in After Effects, as well as how to create basic heat waves within After Effects. It's actually a very, very simple technique. And this is a direct reference to the Dubstep Guns video, where Sam tells us that he creates this distortion using a displacement map. And you guys are asking me, well, how do I create this displacement map for lasers, for guns, for fire? And you can actually use this thing for a myriad of things such as the heat wave and all that stuff. So let's hop into After Effects here to see how we create this basic heat wave and how to use the displacement map in After Effects. So I'm just going to ramp preview this right here. So what we have here is pretty much a flat image. It's not footage or anything. It's just fl a flat footage of a desert. And I kind of enhanced this flat image by adding some movement to it, which are the heat waves right here. It's very, very subtle, but kind of sells the effect that it is somewhat footage. And again, you can use this for a myriad of things such as explosions at this shot right here or this image right here. You kind of see the distortion of heat waves right here. So this is actually very easy. So let's hop into After Effects right now and just take a look at how to create this. Let's create a new composition right here. We're going to name this Heat Wave Comp. And go ahead and drag in your footage or your image or whatever you want into the composition. I'm going to right click, transform and fit to comp, so our image is going to fit to the composition pretty nicely and evenly. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create a map for After Effects. So let's create a new solid, Control command y and let's hit uh, or name this map. And hit OK. So now we have a blank layer right here. I'm going to drag in Particular for this demonstration. You can use CC Particle World or whatever you wish. So we just have these Particles emitting from a point, very simple. So let's go down to the emitter tab. And I'm going to change the emitter type from point to box. So now that our particles are going to be emitting from a box rather than a single point. And I'm just going to drag the position down. So we have our particles emitting from the bottom of the composition. And I'm also going to crank up the emitter size in X. So our particles are going to emit from a wider range in the X axis. So right here, we just have our particles floating in the air, which is what we want essentially, but we want to make it a little bit faster. So let's go down to the physics tab under air. We're going to crank up the wind Y to negative 800, which is really going to push our particles up in the air. Now we're going to go back to the particles tab and we're going to change the color to a nice red. And you'll see why in a second. We're also going to crank up the size, size randomness, and opacity randomness, as well as the basic sphere feather. So we have to have this nice kind of soft sphere. So now we're going to pre-compose this because After Effects doesn't read effects applied on layers as maps. So we're going to layer, pre-compose, and we're going to name this map a uh, heat map. And make sure that move all attributes into the new composition is selected. This is very important. Make sure this is checked. Hit OK. So now we just have our image right here with a few red floating particles. And we're going to use these red particles to drive the heat waves. Let's create a new adjustment layer. Name this heat wave. And let's go ahead and drag in our displacement map here. Drag that into the composition under the heat wave adjustment layer. And by default, you kind of see some distortion going on already. Kind of messes up the corners a little bit. So let's go ahead and check wrap pixels around. That kind of helps the edge just a little bit. So basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to tell After Effects, okay, whatever is red in this composition, we want to distort the area. So we're going to use this heat map comp to drive the distortion on the red areas only. So let's go back to the heat wave. And we're going to select our displacement map layer to our heat map comp. So now whatever is red is going to be distorted. So now that we have our map intact and everything like that, we don't need to show the map anymore. It's only a reference. So as you can see here, if you kind of look very closely, you can kind of see that whatever is red or whatever was red, it's now kind of being distorted and it's flowing upwards. Now the best part about this effect is you can actually adjust the parameters. So the reason why we use red is because use for horizontal displacement is set to red. So whatever is red is going to distort it uh, horizontally. And whatever is green is going to distort it in the vertical axis. So we can change this to red as well. We can just decrease the max horizontal displacement to zero. 
and kind of keep the vertical displacement to five. Of course, if you want more distortion, you can pump up the value. If you want less distortion, you can also decrease the value. And you can also go into the heat map composition right here. Let's say you wanted a less obvious effect or a very subtle effect. You can actually go down to the particle and decrease the opacity. And if you decrease the opacity, it's also going to decrease the effect of the heat wave. So if I just ran preview this, you can see that we have a basic uh, heat wave. That's a little bit too fast, but you can always adjust that. Go, down, go back to the heat wave, change the win Y to maybe negative 600. So you won't be flowing up as fast. And for the edge problem, uh, there's a myriad of things to do to fix these kind of edge problems. You can go to CC repeat uh, pixels or whatever that is. I usually just scale it up. So maybe from 18.5 to maybe 19. So we kind of just stretch the image up a little bit. So kind of hide these kind of gaps right here. Or you can repeat edge pixels. But essentially that's pretty much it. That's how you create the basic heat waves in After Effects. Now in reference to the Dubstep Guns video on the distortion map or displacement map, what you would do to achieve the distortion for the lasers is you would have to, well, first of all, finish all your lasers first. And then once you're done with all your laser effects, you want to pre-compose all the lasers, make it red so we can drive the distortion, create a new adjustment layer, and distort just the red areas. So essentially what you have is a red laser, a red finalized laser. You're going to distort it. You can hide the red layer. And then just slap on the regular, you know, your purple laser, your blue laser, and all that stuff. So you have some distortion displacement as well as your finalized trap code form lasers. So pretty neat effect. You can use this for fire lasers, gunshots, heat waves, whatever you want. Pretty simple effect, really quick tutorial. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to check out creativedejo.net for more video tutorials, help and support. Thanks for watching guys. Leave your comments down below and I'll see you guys next time.